Today we're going to learn how to determine if a graph is a function. We notice that a function is a relation where each input determines exactly one output. We've learned that in the past. So let's look at uh, some graphs. Uh, notice that uh, we have two graphs and one of these is not a function. The question is which one. So we want to see if it fits in with the definition of a function where for exactly one input is exactly one output. So looking at this graph on the left, you will not be able to find any place where an input gives more than one output. So for instance, at negative one, the output is one. At one, the output's one. At two, the output is two. At negative three, the output is at three. But in every single case, you'll notice that one input, one value for x gives one value for y. One input gives one output. X is our input, Y is our output. So one X gives one Y, one X gives one Y. So this one is definitely a function. Let's write that down. Now let's look at the graph on the right. Is there any place where, and we only need one case, where one input gives two outputs and then it would not be a function? And you'll notice, let's just pick a number like two. When x is two, it gives us an output of, it looks like, about one and a half. And it also gives another output of about negative one and a half. If I were to pick four, that gives uh, four as an input, gives two as an output, but it also gives negative two as an output. And we certainly found two cases, there's certainly more than one. Um, the only place where, that's where one input gives one output is at zero, zero. Zero gives uh, as input, gives zero as an output. But there's many, many, many cases, actually an infinite number of cases, where for every one value of x, you get two values of y. Therefore, according to the definition, this is not a function. Now, you might notice what we did. What we simply did was we drew vertical lines. And you notice that the graph, once again, on the left over here, that when we drew vertical lines, the ver each vertical line only intersects the graph at one point. And we said it was a function. If you look at the graph on the right, each vertical line uh, intersects the graph in two points. And that was not a function. So we have an easy way of determining if a graph, uh, of a function, if a graph is a function. If that vertical line intersects that graph at one point, then it is a function. If it intersects the graph in two or more points, it is not a function. This is called the vertical line test. And the vertical line test can be used to determine whether the graph is a function or not. So basically, it says uh, a relation is a function. If there are no vertical lines, no vertical lines that intersect the graph at more than one point. So let's go back to those other graphs again. And using that vertical line test, you'll notice that the graph on the left passes the vertical line test, passes the vertical line test. And you notice this graph on the right fails the vertical line test. So it gives us an easy way of telling whether a, a graph is a function. If it passes the vertical line test, it's a function. If it fails, it's not. So that is what you need to take away from this lesson, that uh, if there are no vertical lines that intersect the graph at more than one point, then it is definitely a function. So let's do some practice, because now it's your turn. So there's four graphs here. What you're going to need to do is pause the screencast copy these graphs down onto a piece of paper, and then decide if the graph is a function or not. And if the graph is not a function, please indicate why. Um, clearly, you want to use the vertical line test to decide if the graph is a function or not. I hope this is clear to you. Good luck, and see you again next time.